Hello and welcome to Truth and Life TV. I hope you're all doing well. In this channel, we talk about how we can move on spiritually, how we can grow spiritually, and how we can move on faster, how we can pray to God, and how we can solve our problems. If you're new on this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave comments below. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always being here from the beginning of this year up till now. May God bless you and reward you and answer all your prayers quickly. Yeah, today is the 31st of December. We are moving on to the new year. How do we make our new year blessed for us to enjoy the, the the goodness of God and how we can move forward spiritually in the new year. New year is a time when people write out their new year resolutions and most of the time we do not even accomplish all of it. A very few percentage of people accomplish the um, the resolutions that they write down at the beginning or at the end of the year for the new year. But how do we make sure that we accomplish our New Year resolution? This is what I'm going to talk about today. What do we need? We need, remember, I always say that we need faith. Faith is the first thing that we need. Always put your faith in God, not in all these things that we use. Your faith is in God, but we use these things as a natural remedy that God's natural ingredient that God used to help us. So, your faith in God and then ask God for forgiveness. And when you, once you've asked God for forgiveness, begin to thank Him for the things that He has already done and what He's doing and what He will do. Because they say, there's, there's a saying that says that when you thank Him for the things that He has done, He will do more. So, we get bay leaf. Why do we use bay leaf? Some people might ask. If you go into Psalm 37, verse 35, it talks about bay leaf. It says that the wicked spread themselves like bay leaf. So what is the significance? Why why do, you, do they spread themselves like bay leaf? Bay leaf is a significance for authority. A significance for power, a significance for good things, a significance for high status. We find that in the old days, in the Roman times, they used bay leaf as a wreath for their head. They put it around their head. When anybody wins anything, instead of trophies, then they use bay leaf because bay leaf is a significance for high status. High status or status in the in the in the um in the environment so that is why it says that spreads himself like bay leaf because bay leaf signifies authority signifies high status signifies prosperity so what do we do with these bay leaves you get five five of them five of them don't worry if it's broken or not broken don't worry about it then you get that bay leaf look the bay leaf now this part where you can see the 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 stem is the back so you open the front here let me see if i can show that properly this is the back so this is the front you see it's different you know when it's on the tree it stays like this it doesn't stay like this it stays like this on the tree so on this part of belief you write your desires is it love is it prosperity is it you want to build a house if is it you want a new job is it whatever it is you can write two things on one just write your desires your new year resolution the things that you wish to accomplish in the new year write it there you can write two get a marker or a pen something that can write on it it might be a black pen or a blue pen. It doesn't matter. Write it there. Love, relationship, or whatever. Just write it on the five bay leaf. And once you finish writing it, you burn it. 
you pray sorry you pray on it that in this new year lord help me to accomplish these things lord help me to accomplish these things help me to accomplish these things i born this belief and i hope that all of my heart desires will come to will be made manifest in the new year remember just write it you can write two or three on one belief as many as you want just write it and just burn it and once you finish burning the ashes just go outside and spray it just blow it out like that as i blow it to the universe that my heart desires will come back to me so once you've done that that is done then what is the next step that we need is cinnamon Cinnamon brings prosperity, brings wealth, brings manifestations. It's been, it's been, it, cinnamon is very good. You can smell it. it. Smells really nice. Cinnamon brings prosperity, brings um, quick answers to our prayers. All of these things are natural ingredients that helps us. To move forward, to 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 get our heart desires quickly. So, what do you do with cinnamon? You crush it. If you can crush it, fine. If you can crush this cinnamon, it's fine. If you cannot crush it, you can get the powdered one, the ground cinnamon. It's all in the supermarket. So, once you get the cinnamon, what do you do? You put it in your hand like that, and you begin to pray your heart desires. Begin to pray your heart desires. Those things that you've written on the bay leaf, begin to pray. Begin to say it. Begin to pray and decree it. The house, the love, the money. Um, you want to be debt free. You want to get a better job. Begin to pray it on the cinnamon. Like that. Begin to decree and declare on the cinnamon. So once you've done it like that on the cinnamon, you go outside your house. And then you face your front door. Face your front door. Open the door down and face your front door. And you blow it into your house. Blow it as hard as you can into your house. So, and, and as you finish blowing, you say, As I blow the cinnamon, let prosperity come into this house. Let greatness come into this house. Let wealth come into this house. Let Good health come into this house. Begin to decree, decree, decree and declare good things into your house. And you begin to pray that as you blow the cinnamon inside, that good things begin to come into my house. Good things throughout the year, there will be no evil that will come into my house. Don't mention anything evil or don't mention anything bad. How I say that is like you're saying that um, I don't want sickness to come into this house. Don't even mention sickness. Just say... Good health come into this house. Greatness come into this house. Abundance come into this house. Because if you have abundance, you will not be in debt. If you have good health, you will not be in sickness. If you have abundance, you will not hold people. So don't mention debt. Just begin to mention the good ones, the good things. And as you blow it, that they should come into your house. And that's it then you need to believe that what you have done is going to come to pass. So once you believe, it is our faith that helps us, not in these things that we do, not in the cinnamon or the bay leaf, but it's our belief that what we say with our mouth and with the help of nature, it will come to pass. And also, I would like to advise us, please, 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 never, ever say negative things about yourself. Never, ever. When people are saying, ah, there's no money, don't tell, don't, don't say that you don't have money. I have in abundance. I have great wealth in abundance. Never say that you don't have money because the subconscious mind is listening and is being weakened by our confessions. But the more we keep saying it, I have been um, a testimony to this. There are some things that I do not have and I keep saying that I already have it. 
I already have it. And before you know it, it becomes a manifestation. It comes to pass. It comes to pass. So please, let us continue to see positive things about ourselves. Don't join people to say, I am dead. I am this. No, never say it. I am alive. I am great. I am not sick. I am in great wealth. I am in great um, um, whatever. Just say good things about yourself. I am rich. My children are blessed. My family is blessed. I am moving into prosperity. I am in prosperity. Just begin to say it. And I can tell you that things will come to pass the way you want. I'm sorry about the noise around the kids are at home today. So, thank you very much for listening to me and staying here to the end of the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave comments below. And I will see you all in the new year. Being prosperous, being in sound health, and all your heart desires being answered. May God bless you all. In Jesus' name. Bye for now.